Welcome to this channel. If you are visually impaired, this video will help you. This is a tips and tricks video on how to enable eye contrast uh, settings in Windows 10 and how to customize these settings also to your liking. So basically to get the high contrast settings, you go into the ease of access setting and the notifications. Once you are in the notifications, you go into all settings. There you'll go into ease of access and on the left side you'll have eye contrast. Now by default it's set to none, but you have four contrast. Now here I've added two that I've uh, done, but you can, uh, you, by default you'll have eye contrast one, two, black and white. So once you enable one, you'll see the colors assigned and if you click apply, computer's gonna rearrange everything and you'll come back to the eye contrast settings. Now here everything is in high contrast everywhere even on the start menu even on the uh, browser if you go into your browser every app that you use uh, every program will have eye contrast settings so for example if I look at my calendar you'll see that this is the eye contrast I have now. Now maybe the colors assigned to the eye contrast are not proper for your type of disability. What you can do is click on one of the colors. Say that you want to um, change the selected text contrast. You can click and say, well, I want to have selected text in orange. I want to have a background in blue and say that's what you want to have, you click apply. It's going to ask you for a name because this was will be your customized setting. So uh, customize, you call it whatever you want. Customized one, say. And you click save. Once you've done that, everything changes to that type of contrast setting everywhere in every menu. All that you uh, will use will look like that basically. So that's the interesting thing. If you have a disability, you can really customize all of that to your liking and try to get to the eye contrast setting that will uh, enable you to hopefully use your um, own setting of colors and backgrounds. And because you can, of course, apply this and customize it, then you'll be able to, you know, adjust it to what maybe helps you view the web pages, we view uh, Windows, desktop, and so on better. Also, you can of course use this, including the magnifier. So if you put the magnifier, you'll have not only the customized settings, but you'll have a magnifier that makes it bigger. So you know, it could be uh, using both settings together that will enable you and give you the possibility to use a computer. Um, unfortunately, we're not all equal and, um, you know, some people can have difficulty using a computer because of its general settings, which are not necessarily the ones that everybody can use. And when you want to end all of that, you can just go to none, go back at the bottom, click apply, and you'll see that everything will come back to the usual settings. One thing that can happen if you play with the settings on the the uh, high contrast, sometimes the background picture does not come back. So if it doesn't, you'll have to uh, reassign a new background picture or get your background picture back uh, on the uh, desktop. If you enjoy my videos, want to subscribe to my channel, you'll be informed when your videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know about Windows, well, let us know. We'll try to help you if we can. And uh, by subscribing, you'll know when new videos are online. And you know what? We post lots of videos in almost every day. Uh, give us thumbs up if you like the videos. Helps us on the ratings on YouTube. And also, um, you know, comments, suggestions, anything you want to know, let us know. We'll try to help you if we can. Thank you for following me and hope to see you soon.